Dear learners, greetings from IIT Guwahati. I welcome to this course Advanced Thermodynamics and Combustions. Today we are going to start module 4 that is properties of gas mixture. So in this module there will be four lectures that consist of the followings. First one is ideal gas and real gas. Second one is gas mixers and multi-component systems. Then we will focus towards only for ideal gas mixture and subsequent in the last lecture we will be discussing about the mixing analysis of thermodynamic systems and in particular for a ideal gas mixture. So in fact till this point of time in all previous modules we have been concentrating only on pure substance and now we will be concentrating more towards the mixtures and multi-component systems. By this I mean this mixture can be composed of gas or liquid or solid. Mostly when you use the word mixture it is mainly for gases and this uh, mixture can also have uh, consist of different gases or different phases all these things. And the focal point of this module is to how to perform the thermodynamic analysis first thing and to do this thermodynamic analysis we need to find out the composition of the mixture number one. Number two for each uh, constituents of the mixtures we also need to calculate the thermodynamic properties and the all previous studies which were used for, for a pure substance through PVT relations what we have derived through Maxwell relations and other thermodynamic considerations that we are going to use it in while analyzing the mixture. So with this viewpoint let me start the first lecture and uh, in the series it is lecture number 15. The first lecture of the module 4 is the ideal gas and real gas. Under this ideal gas and real gas, we will start these considerations with very basic backgrounds through some basic philosophies what we have used for pure substance phases. Then we will move on to state equations and thermodynamically where we need to represent the state equation for a pure substance and gases. Then we will introduce a compressibility chart and which is mostly used for gases and we will see what is this significance how this is correlated with the equation of state and followed by this compressibility chart we are going to frame some real gas models and of course to have more uh, estimate to have a thermodynamic estimate we also have to think, think about ideal gas model. In fact this ideal gas model we have been using in all our basic courses. With this ideal gas estimate we will try to see what benefit we are going to get while analyzing the state equations through a real gas model or through compressibility chart all these things. So let me start the first uh, topic or first term which we call this as a pure substance and phase. Now about this pure substance and phase in the basic thermodynamic course most of the contents have been covered and uh, in this lecture we will just touch upon some uh, or refresh some of our basic things before you go for the real gas modeling. So basically the phase refers to the quantity of the matter which is homogeneous throughout in both chemical composition and physical structure. The homogeneity of the physical structure means that the matter is in solid, liquid or gas phase. In fact that is the three different phase of matter. Now out of these three phase, two phases of matter can coexist during a change of phase. We all know what is vaporization where liquid changes its state to gas, melting solid goes to liquid and sublimation where solid goes to gas phase. Now for all this phase when you define a pure substance 
it has a uniform invariable chemical compositions and it can exist in one or more than one phase with same chemical composition. And we all know that the pure substance is represented through PVT diagram, pressure volume temperature diagram. A general rule on state principle determines the number of independent properties required to fix the state of the system. Now, for a simple compressible systems, we require two independent insensitive thermodynamic properties to fix the values for all other insensitive properties or in other words, there are some measured parameters and there are some derived or calculated parameters. So, the measured parameters are nothing but the independent and insensitive thermodynamic properties and that is used to calculate all other properties. The three regions of the phase of the substance are represented graphically on a pressure volume temperature surface. The single phase region requires two independent properties while two phase regions are defined through one variable either it can be a saturated pressure or temperatures. So, this particular diagram shows the PBT surface for a pure substance that contract during freezing and uh, some substance that expands during the freezings. So, all these basic philosophies has been covered in the basic thermodynamic course, I am not going to get into these details. But what I am trying to say is that when you discuss about this PBT surface, we and this is a three dimensional structure, now you have to bring down into, into two dimensional uh, systems. where we represent the characteristics of the substance either through pressure temperature diagram and normally we call this as a phase diagram, temperature volume diagram or pressure volume diagram. Okay. So, let us start the first diagram which is called as a phase diagram where most of the critical informations are framed. Now, if you look at this pressure temperature diagram and this is nothing but uh, the PBT surface is projected on a pressure temperature plane. What we observe is three different regions solid, liquid and vapor regions. The solid and vapor region is separated by a curve what we call as sublimation curve. The solid and liquid region is separated by fusion curve and the vaporization curve separates the liquid and vapor region. And on this PT diagrams, we also define a point we call as a triple point where all the three states of the matter coexist. Now, when you talk about the critical point, at that point liquid and vapor they coexist. And uh, same philosophy solid goes to liquid or liquid goes to solid, melting or freezing liquid goes to vapor or vapor comes to liquid we call vaporization or condensation. Now, here we use the word mostly solid goes to gas. Uh, so, we call this as a sublimation. Okay. Now, on this diagram we have fixed the point what we call a triple point and the critical point. To summarize these things what we can write is that the two phase regions are reduced to lines. So, either sublimation, fusion or vaporization curve and any point on this line represents the phase of the mixture at that temperature and pressure. Now, state at which the phase change begins or ends is called as a saturation state. The saturation temperature normally designates the temperature at which the change of the phase takes place at a given pressure and we call this as a saturation pressure. Thus, every saturation pressure has a unique temperature and vice versa. And on this phase diagram, we also define the critical point, which is the melting location of saturation, uh, saturated liquid and vapor. And the critical temperature Tc is defined, which is the maximum temperature at which liquid and vapor can exist in equilibrium corresponding to state Pc and Vc. And the triple line on a three dimensional PBT surface reduces to a triple point in a phase diagram. 
and this triple point of for the water is located at 0.6113 kilopascal and 273.16 kelvin the line rep that represents the two phase solid liquid region on the phase diagrams slopes left for the substance that expands during the freezing and to the right for the substance that contract during the freezing this is the characteristics of the phase diagram then move on to pressure volume diagram we all know pressure volume diagram we have a pressure volume diagram for substance that expand during freezing and that contract during freezing so the pressure volume diagram is uh, important because it distinguishes the liquid vapor state or vapor liquid state and normally it is recognized through a dome now within this dome the state of the uh, system is liquid plus vapor mixture and outside the dome it is either liquid or vapor and in a single phase region if this temperature is greater than critical temperature uh, then the pressure decreases continuously when the specific volume increases and the critical isotherm passes through the point of inflection at the critical point and slope is zero this is the characteristics of pressure volume diagram so in the similar line we also frame temperature volume diagram when pvt surface is projected on temperature volume plane here also we define this critical point critical pressure critical temperature uh, same logic applies here in a single phase region when pressure is higher than the critical pressure the temperature increases continuously when the specific volume increases the critical isotherm also passes through the point of inflection that is at this point and the slope is zero now having said this we will now move on to the equation of state now all these things data which we have shown here that was the mostly for water i mean in fact in our study we mostly focused on the properties of the pure substance mainly concentrated for water but if there are many more substances and each substance must have the uh, pvt data but it is also not possible to generate the data for all the substances similar to steam table but we have some data for refrigeration refrigerant tables and uh, we also have some data for um, some important gases but uh, the main issue is that uh, always it is not possible to have a junk of i mean block of bulk data which are normally used to specify the state of the systems so the pvt relations for the pure substance people have considered different methods first one is mathematical representation of thermodynamic properties that means you get the set of data limited data and use the thermodynamic property relations that we have uh, discussed in our earlier model where uh, properties like uh, internal energy enthalpy and entropy they are represented with respect to measured data like is pressure temperature and specific volume and tabular representation of the properties that means we have seen or we have it is known that we have steam tables we have refrigerant tables where the property relations are available in the form of data sheets then other way of representation of pvt surface is through molier diagrams we all know that enthalpy entropy diagram is called as a molier diagrams and this is normally used when you are using rankine cycle or steam power systems then we also we have uh, other type of charts data pvc pv surface data represented in terms of compressibility chart which we are going to discuss today in addition to that we have some uh, formulations mathematical formulations involving state equations and in fact uh, these equation in general are applicable to most of the substances however their relative accuracy may change and we while doing this analytical formulations here our model comes what we call them as a real gas model so in a special case the thermodynamic property property evaluation in gas phase and this is normally considered as state equations for ideal gas or real gas models but these gas models are also applicable for mixing systems multi component systems of course we are thinking them only in the single phase and that is 
gas phase and we are not going to go for any complicated multi component systems and uh, in our focal analysis we will be talking about mixtures we will be talking about the data when there is a combustion takes place or during a chemical reactions only these two things we are going to focus in this course so let us give the introduction that what is the equation of state how it has framed from the beginning now when we talk about the equation state of state we normally refer to a pure substance when it is in gaseous phase now a gas is why you say it's a gaseous phase and in this gas phase we have some best behaved thermodynamic considerations so a gas is considered as to be a, a well behaved thermodynamic substance that is because the ratio of pressure of the gas p to the triple point pressure approaches to a value which is independent on the nature of the gas when p or triple point pressure approaches to zero that means when you go to zero pressure all of them behave in a similar manner and there then the limiting value of this ratio when it is multiplied by 273.16 defines the temperature at that pressure and normally we call this as a ideal gas temperatures this ideal gas temperature word we have been using most frequently starting from the second law of thermodynamics and uh, of course uh, to some extent third law of thermodynamics when the temperature reaches to absolute zero so under those circumstances an interesting phenomena happens and it has been an experimental evidence that when p tends to zero the product of pv approaches to same value for all gases at that same temperatures so functionally we can write limit p v bar and here v bar is nothing but and in most important thing here we will be talking about molar analysis so here v bar is nothing but your molar specific volume that is v by n n is stands for number of moles and when you do this molar analysis so instead of r which is characteristic gas constant so we should be using universal gas constant r bar and its value is 8.3144 joule per mole kelvin okay now to have this understanding so at constant volume this t can be written as 273.16 and when this limiting value p tp goes to 0 p by tp now after simplifying this we can get an important relations limit p v bar or uh, is r bar p limiting value of p times v bar goes to r bar times t or in other words limit p capital b goes to n times r bar t this relation is very vital for the all the subsequent analysis in for the consideration of equation of state then moving further the relation between pv and p that is pressure multiplied volume and p if they are taken as independent entity they are often expressed for real gas by means of power series expansions now before the equation of state is framed people used to represent this pv bar is equal to as a power series expansion which is a times 1 plus bp plus cp square plus dpq and so on where a b c d a they are considered as a virial coefficients this is how the mathematical way of representing the equation of state then after considering this experimental evidence then the revised form of the equations in the form of virial coefficients is represented as p v bar by r bar t is equal to 1 plus bp plus cp square plus dpq so what people have said that when from these equations from these equations it was said when p v bar bar by r bar t is equal to 1 which it was said it to be ideal gas means all ideal gas model will be followed like this and for all other situations now when it is a function of pressure then it becomes a real gas model so that means p v bar by r bar t becomes 1 plus if any other value is there like bp plus c p square 
So, all these things when it comes, it becomes a real gas model. So, this was the time when the state equations were defined through this concept of Burial coefficients. Here, here if you look at this equation, pressure uh, this particular parameter P V bar by R bar T was uh, considered as a function of pressures. The other equations they consider like one Bretty Bridgman equations, they consider instead of P, they represent this state equations in the form of T and V, where both T and V bar becomes the parameter in the right hand side and uh, accordingly the virial coefficients were determined. So, it all depends whether we consider it as a pressure explicit equations or not. Then moving further, so when you deal with these state equations, there are lot of mathematically complicacy while analyzing the data. So, uh, what the concept that has been developed and uh, we are going to study now is the compressibility charts. Let us represent all the data in a graphical manner. So, what this graph shows is that and of course, this compressibility chart is defined as a all experimental evidence for the all the gases. What has been to start with what was done is that we take two parameters one is P V bar by T and here V bar is your molar specific volume and we another parameter was considered as a P. Now, for a given gas at temperature T 1, we can uh, find out these values, we can plot these values at T 1 set of data, we can plot it. That means, we find P corresponding this number P V bar by T at a given T 1, we can get the first graph. And the second graph also was taken at temperature T 2 third one T 3 and T 4 and this is done for a particular gas. What interesting point is that now based on the data which are available to us okay, when they are plotted during the after experiment, we get a set of data maybe I can say this dom domain of the data which are available to us is in this dome. Now, if by plotting them and you extrapolate it uh, further. I mean if you keep on extending data or extrapolate, it interesting fact is that it intersects the y axis that is P V bar by T axis at one point and normally what we call this R bar that means or you can say limiting values of P V bar by T is nothing but your R bar. So, this is what the significance of the universal gas constant. So, people have said is that this is nothing but your uh, universal gas constant. Then it was realized whether, whether it is true for all the gases or not. So, that means similar plots also can be generated for different gases. So, uh, it happens in the situation that there are a lot of gases, there are a lot of pure substance, many gases are there. So, in such cases, instead of uh, putting this particular graph for different gases, people have used the concept of non-dimensionalizing is. So, what with this philosophy, we represent this graphical concept as compressibility chart. So, the understanding of relationship among pressure, temperature and specific volume of the gas is represented through a parameter first one is the compressibility factor which we are going to introduce Z as P V bar by R bar T or P V by R T where R stands for R bar by M and R is your gas constant, R bar is your universal gas constant which is nothing but this particular graphical number when P V bar by limiting value of P V bar by T. So, this universal gas constant has a unique value for all gases and it is defined as the limiting value of P V by T when the pressure tends to 0. Dimensional ratio which is known as compressibility factor and at states where gas pressure at, it, at states of gas where the pressure is small relative to the critical pressure the Z value is close to 1. 
that means if z is equal to 1 it is like we can say pv bar is equal to r bar t but in many situation it is not so sure not true and we call them is that it is a real gas model so entire idea to represent this graphical method into a non dimensional form is the concept of principle of corresponding states so uh, what i can say that if i plot z versus pressure which was shown graphically uh, it is true for one particular gases but when you do this we call this as a compressibility chart for that particular gas now we are going to frame a generalized compressibility chart and which is true for all the gases now to do that a non dimensional parameters were introduced and we call this as a reduced value for example we introduce the terms critical pressure critical temperature critical pressure pc critical temperature tc and critical volume v bar by c molar specific volume now for each gas these numbers are unique and the actual pressure value p when it is divided by to this their critical numbers it becomes a non dimensional number which is called as a reduced pressure so in your in our previous analysis when this plot was done when you have pressure p and z which is nothing but pv bar by rt so if you see this was unitless no unit and this has some unit pressure means it's either bar or newton per meter square and this is these data were taken for a given gas so this concept was changed with to with respect to this particular figure where this p is replaced with a reduced pressure pr and this reduced pressure we get for a particular gas pc by taking by normalizing it with respect to its critical pressure and and y axis remains what we say z so likewise for different gases one can have a set of data involving and that data we can get it for different temperature ratios so that means if you look at one particular temperature let's say tr of 1.2 then on this tr of 1.2 we have data for methane ethylene ethane propane all nitrogen oxygen all sorts of things so all the, this particular curve talks about only for tr is equal to 1.2 and it is true for all these gases so this behavior of all the gases was considered as a advantage and that's the reason we call as a well behaved they are well behaved at reduced values and here another term i need to emphasize here that pseudo reduced specific volume normally the idea is that when you see this data the data is are represented in the form of uh, press pr and tr but uh, um, to calculate this corresponding vr because pr and tr they are calculated based on the critical value of this substance but vr was calculated based on the a molar specific volume which is already there and its critical pressure and temperature that means from critical pressure and temperature data so that is what a different name was assigned what is called as pseudo reduced specific volume okay by doing things a realistic model what we call as a compressibility chart is available in this many books and i have taken the extract from this book moran and sapiro which talks about this compressibility chart in which the reduced pressure and z was plotted at different tr and of course in different pr regime like this particular figure talks about pr less than 1 this particular figure talks about pr less than 10 and any things which is less than 40 between 10 and 40 it is plotted in this manner so basically speaking that having knowing the value of pr tr one can directly refer this compressibility chart to find z or knowing z and pr we can find tr so likewise and this is true for all the gases 
and this concept we call this as a compressibility chart. Now moving further, we are now going to discuss some of the real gas model. So till this point of time, the representation was done in a graphical manner and uh, through a compressibility chart. But here many a times people are comfortable in writing in the form of equations and we call this as a real gas models. And out of these two real gas models, there are two important workable models means widely used models and they involve two constant equations. Like in every real equation state, there are multiple number of constants A, B, C, D like this. But most widely used are two constant equation model, one is Mandor gas equation, other is Radley's cone equations. So, we will emphasize only these two gas equations. Now, the first one is the van der Waal gas model and in fact, we all have uh, aware of this model that when this model was introduced as a real gas model, it was uh, necessary justification was made that the gas molecules occupy more volume with respect to ideal gas model where now in the ideal gas model, the size of the molecules were neglected. But in the van der Waal gas model, the size of the molecules were taken into account. So, as a result, the effective volume is reduced. But what happens due to attractive forces uh, between the molecules, they exert lesser force in comparison with respect to ideal gas. Means the gas molecules exert less force on the container because they have on the container of the gas or maybe the walls of the gas surface in which they are contained because the force of attraction between the gas molecules. So, a mathematical form of van der Waals equation involves by considering these two effects is P is equal to R bar T divided by V bar minus B minus A by V bar square. So, here if you look at this equations, the parameter B takes care about the finite volume occupied by the molecules. Uh, the parameter A by V square talks about the pressure value which was supposed to be uh, for ideal gas which is higher gets reduced by an amount by A by V bar square. And here also uh, the constants that are appearing in this equation that is A and B must be found out from the PBT data. Now, how do you find out the data for a real gas model? and in particular for uh, a van der Waal equations. So, uh, the uh, a set of single constants that means how do you find out this value of A, B, C and then we are going to put them. So, to do that one way to look at is that we write this equation that is van der Waal equation at the critical point replacing P C, V bar C and uh, T C. Now, at the critical point important phenomena that happens that is dp rho p by rho b bar at constant t is equal to 0 and the second derivative that is rho square p by rho b bar square at constant t is also 0. So, differentiating these two differentiation of these two equations will give you two equations and in fact, we are available with also two constants. So, at critical point the differentiation of these two equations will give you the constant values A as 27 by 64 R bar T c square by P c, B is equal to R bar T c divided by 8 P c and V c is equal to 3 by 8 R bar T c by P c and Z c that means compressibility factor at the critical point is found to be 0 0.375. So, this is the consequence that we get from this van der Waals gas equations to get this constant term. Now, putting these equations, one can also find out the compressibility factor equations which is in the cubical form Z Q, Z square, Z and they are represented in terms of P R and T R. Okay. So, this is how the van der Waals equations is modeled is considered as a real gas model and in fact, uh, when you compare it with your actual model or behavior, it sees that van der Waal equation is the simplest model that accounts the departure of an ideal gas behavior for an actual gas. And the 
other model which is the most recent model and that is in the 1949. So, it is a real gas two constant equations and it is known as Redlich's Kong equation. And this equation is explicit in pressure not in the specific volume and in fact the van der Waal while framing this van der Waal equations necessary justification was done in terms of volume in terms of force. But what has been done is that in this Redlich-Kong equation it is a empirical in nature okay? and uh, the equations uh, were done such that and there is no necessary justification could have been made why these numbers were taken into account. But however, it has been proven that it is an, uh, better or accurate than the van der Waal equations particularly at high pressures. That means, at high pressures the inaccuracy of van der Waal equations becomes significant. So, during that point of time Redlich Kong equation was used and this particular equation is what we call as P is equal to R bar T divided by V minus B. This is the same term which was appearing in the van der Waal equations, but the A by B square term in the van der Waal equations is replaced with A by V bar into V bar plus B into T to the power half. And with these uh, things other compressibility factor equations were derived. So, we are not going to go get into these details. Here I have just written these values. Of course, these are not the matter of interest for us rather we are only concentrating only these equations. Now, apart from giving all these explanations for compressibility chart, real gas model, PBT surface, the one best thing that remains is that we have to use this ideal gas model and this ideal gas model is the benchmark or reference level now if why I should go for real gas model if if an ideal gas model can predict accurately or uh, without going into mathematical complications it is better that we should go for the ideal gas mon model until this point of time we have been following this ideal gas model and just to summarize in fact, we all use are used to this ideal gas model. Just to summarize, when you use this ideal gas model, we first thing we say P V by R T is equal to 1 or in other words, we say uh, the compressibility factor is 1. And uh, the here while using these equations, we consider molar specific, specific volume V is equal to V bar by M, where we say P capital V is equal to M R T. Other way of looking at is that instead of specific volume we use the molar specific volume where we are introducing the molecular weight of the substance. Then based on this uh, molar specific volume we can write P B bar is equal to R bar T and of course molar specific volume is defined by V bar is equal to V by N. So, P B is equal to N R T. So, one equation is P B is equal to M R T other equation is PV is equal to NRT. Okay? And apart from this, we also say that for an ideal gas, the internal energy is a function of temperature only. In fact, we have already proved this through our thermodynamic relations. Enthalpy is also a function of temperature because enthalpy consists of U plus PV. Already U is a function of temperature, but PV is also a function of RT. PV is equal to RT for an ideal gas. So, because of this region enthalpy is also a function of temperature only. And one uh, other point that I need to emphasize that general compressibility start at states pressure P relative to the critical pressure or lower pressure and temperature T allows us that the compressibility factor uh, becomes close to 1 and we call this as a ideal gas equation of state. So, with this I come to the end of this particular lecture. Now, we will try to solve some two one or two important problems based on our understanding about this lecture. The first problem talks about the a rigid tank contains water vapor and this water vapor is cooled until the temperature reaches to 400 degree centigrade. The initial state of water is given as 20 mega Pascal and 520 degree centigrade. So, we need to find out the calculate the specific volume at its initial state and the pressure at the final state. So, as you see in this figure it is very easy that 
one can use this steam table data to find the thermodynamic states and in fact we all know used to, we are used to it. So, here the tr we are trying to emphasize that how this particular problem we are going to solve by using the concept of compressibility chart or by knowing the critical point or critical temperature and pressure of water vapor. So, to start with what data was been given as we have this initial state. So, in this initial state, state which is we say 20 mega Pascal and 520 degree centigrade. Final state is 400 degree centigrade and this final state since it is a closed rigid tank there is no change in the volume. So, it is a constant volume process. So, from the steam table for this initial state we can refer superheated region and that that superheated region we can find its specific volume V 1 as 0 0.0155 meter cube per kg. Now, at same constant volume that is at temperature 400 degree centigrade and V 1 as 0 0.0155 meter cube per kg this it will also give the final pressure P 2 as 15 mega Pascal. So, this steam table data is based on the steam table data. But our job is not uh, with respect to your using steam table rather you have to use the concept of critical parameters. So, by critical parameters means for water if you refer any thermodynamic data book we can find the critical pressure P c for water is 22.09 mega Pascal critical temperature T c is equal to 647.3 Kelvin. Okay. Now, we have to find the reduced parameter. Okay. Reduced parameter I mean uh, for state 1 I can write it as P r 1 is equal to P 1 by P c and this number P 1 is 20 mega Pascal. So, P 1 by P c becomes 0 0.91 then P r 1 T 1 by T c T 1 is 520 Kelvin that is 793 Kelvin 520 degree centigrade 793 Kelvin. So, T r 1 by T c is 1.23. So, so, we have state coordinates P r 1, T r 1 data. So, this we have to apply it for compressibility chart that is generalized compressibility chart and this will give you the value z is equal to 0 0.83 and z we also know that is is nothing but p 1 b 1 by r t 1 is equal to 0 0.83 and uh, we know that r is equal to r bar by m r is 8314 joule per mole kelvin and molecular weight for water it is 18 ok. So, we know r. So, from this data we have p 1 20 mega Pascal t 1 520 degree, degree centigrade. So, this will give you v 1 as 0 0.83 into 8314 by 18 into 
सेवेन नाइन्टी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी इनटू टेन टू द पार सिक्स दैट नंबर इज जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव टू मीटर क्यू पर केजी वेर एज आवर स्टीम टेबल डाटा वॉज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन फाइव मीटर क्यू पर के जी सो दिस वॉज डन फॉर पी आर वन एंड टी आर वन नाउ फॉर स्टेट टू वी कैन फॉलो द सिमिलर प्रोसेस बट हियर द प्रोसेस वॉज ए कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस सो यू डू नॉट हैव डाटा फॉर प्रेसर्स सो यू हैव टू रिलाय ऑन द रिड्यूस्ड वॉल्यूम पारामीटर बी आर टू विच इज नथिंग बट बी टू बी सी बाई आर टी सी एंड सॉरी दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन फाइव टू सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन फाइव टू इंटू पी सी ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो नाइन टू टेन टू द पार सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एट थ्री वन फोर बाई एटीन टी सी इज सिक्स फोर्टी सेवेन पॉइंट थ्री सो बी आर टू वुड बी वन पॉइंट वन टू सो वी आर टू इज दिस एंड टी आर टू वी कैन फाइंड टू फाइंड एज टी टू बाई टी सी दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सेवन थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर एंड विथ दिस बी आर एंड टी आर डाटा दिस विल इम्प्लाई पी आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन फ्रॉम द कंप्रेसिबिलिटी चार्ट सर सिंस वी नो पी आर टू देन पी टू इज विल बी इक्वल टू पी टू कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एंड इट्स वैल्यू इज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट टू फोर मेगा पासकल तो स्टेट टू वॉज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट टू फोर मेगा पासकल बट द स्टीम टेबल डाटा वॉज गिविन एज फिफ्टीन मेगा पासकल्स so of course there is a relative accuracy while considering these two model and then next problem that we are going to solve about the consistency of equation of states what we have data is that we have a cylindrical tank whose dimension is given 0.2 meter diameter and 1 meter length it consists of 4 kg of carbon monoxide at minus 50 degree centigrade now we need to find out the pressure exerted by the gas models we also know, know that there are many methods are available we can use it in the compressibility chart we can use van der waal equations we can use ideal gas equation we can use redley cohn state equations now let us see that in each of this methods what is the accuracy level or what is the value that we are going to get so the data that is given is b is pi by 4 d square into l that is volume occupied by this gas and that b we can calculate as pi by 4 into 0.2 square into 1 and this number is 0.0314 meter cube now we have this gas which is given as co carbon monoxide so for which we have this molecular weight 28 kg pi kilo mole and this mass is given as 4 kg and we also know we also need to know r bar r bar is nothing but 8.314 kilo joule per kilo mole kelvin so this data will be, will be requiring so first thing data we have to use compressibility chart so to do that we need to find z and to do that we require pc and that pc value from the data table for co is noted as 35 bar pc is equal to 
133 Kelvin. Then we can find out value of PCTC, we can find out TR that is T by TC. Your T is minus 50 degree centigrade that is minus 50 means 223 Kelvin. So, TR is found to be 223 divided by 133, this turns out to be 1.68. Then we can find out Br which is V bar by Tr divided by R bar into Tc, Br into V bar into Pc. So, reduced volume V bar we can find out as M into V that is equal to M into V by M that V bar turns out to be 0 0.22 meter cube per kilo mole. By inserting these values, we can get Br as 0 0.7. So, we have this Br and Br information using this compressibility chart will give you Z is equal to 0 0.9. Now, when I say Z is equal to 0 0.9, we can write this as P into V bar by R bar T and we and this will give you the value of pressure. We know Z 0.9, we do not know P, V bar is known as 0.22, R bar is this, temperature is available to is minus 50. So, this will give you P as 76 bar. Okay. This is how we get from this compressibility chart. Then we will go to Van der Waals equations case B. So, Van der Waals model equation we write as R bar T into V minus B bar minus B minus A by B bar square. Now, here A is equal to 1.474 b is equal to 0 0.0395. So, these two we have to find from the data from the thermodynamic book for CO and uh, v bar is already calculated as 0 0.22 meter cube per kilo mole. So, we all know this number and then by inserting this value, we can calculate P is equal to 72 bar. So, the Van der Waal model gives us pressure to be 72 bar. Third one is Radley Kong equations that takes is that P is equal to R bar T divided by V bar minus B here a becomes a v bar is reduced as v bar into v bar plus b into t to the power half and we all know all the value you have v bar is this t is equal to 2 to 3 kelvin and this constant for this case or relink kong equation is a is equal to 17.22 b is equal to 0.02737. Now, by inserting this value, we can get P is equal to 75 bar. And last one, which is what we call as a simplest one, ideal gas. And now, if nothing is given, then we must use this gas equations we have been using so far that is P is equal to R bar T divided by V bar and all these numbers are given. So, we can find out P is equal to here I write 8314 into 223 in divided by 0 0.22 into 10 to the power 5 this becomes bar. So, this will give you P is equal to 84 bar. 
So, as it is clear that ideal gas model always gives the higher pressures and closure to ideal gas model is your Redlis Kong model and real gas model through Van der Waals equation gives us 72 bar and of course, compressibility chart data gives 76 bar which is closure to Van der Waals equations. Okay, this is how we can say the relative accuracy of predictions while using the real gas concepts. So, with this I conclude this lecture for today. Thank you for your attention. Music